Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with me, Get Daved. I'm gonna take a quick detour down here. Because when I loaded to not kill Dustal. Man, I feel a little punked by the game on that exchange, by the way, when I was like, hey, it looks like he's all grown up, and the game's like, that is a murderous thing to say. Kinda kind of didn't do it for me. I thought acknowledging him as a man would be important, but apparently, uh, brought the old aggression. Hey man, there's I've a data pad. Here. So tell me, Father, where's this proof you promised? I have a data pad I want you to look at. You knew someone named Celine? Celine? Oh, she She's had the, the voice of an angel. come to the academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but he told me, he, he said that she'd been lost on a mission in the valley. This... This says that they killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I, I had no idea. They lied to me. Yeah, of course well, they did, man. Remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. And maybe I Whoops. can, you know, look around here and find out some more information from the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not going to do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Ugh. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over, we can... <laughs> no comment. Talk. I'm still not sure about us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. All right. Well, we helped him out. I guess he's gonna... Oh. Gonna run around now. Chase him down. Chase him down. So he's gonna go on an adventurous covert mission because he's got a little bit of his father in him. All right, he's gone now. Um, we gotta talk to Uthar because we know all about the Sith code. Which is weird that the Jedi don't talk about it. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie that is only... Mmm, passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power? Through power, Which I, I really see the two as quite similar. Victory. Through victory? Uh, my chains are broken. The Force will set me free? The Force shall free me. Yes. Good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. I agree. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. Hmm. I will say false. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well. That said, I think most of the Sith in the game do not victory. know the code. I have matters to attend to. All right. Yeah, let's see. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? Will we be good friends, you think? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor and rule the Academy. If you are smart, you will aim to do the same, or better. I <laughs> got you covered. you need to know. Do not ask again, young one. Mm. All right, see ya. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Yeah, I also find it kind of interesting that their definition, like Bioware's in this case, of evil, like the Sith in this game, generally do not want to, like, you know, have relationships with people. Like, they don't, you know, he didn't want me asking about who he was and everything. I don't know. I like that touch. How do you do, hopeful? Seeking prestige? Yeah, sure. Yeah, hi. I'm a trainer here at the Academy. I think I may be able to offer you some training. This guy smoked a lot. Yeah, sure. What do you know of our renegade students? Ah. Okay, let's go. I'm distracted by the lightsaber fighting, so I'm gonna fast track some of the voice acting here. 
Master Uthar naturally ordered them killed. Okay. But they, there are five of them, if I remember. And they can now, if you will excuse. Alright. If Master Uthar gives you an order, you'd better follow it. There were some students who disobeyed him. Now they're hiding out on the surface somewhere. The former master of the academy, Jorak Ulm, is supposedly hiding out in the hills on the surface. He's some kind of mad hermit. Sure, I bet he has gone mad. Anyway, I just like that the emphasis is... Or like a defining characteristic is that these people are... Part of being evil is also... It seems a little bit of fear of who you are and sharing. Which also kind of resonates with me, because um, the Old Republic is the one that really hit it on the head, but they really established that one of the things that's special about the Sith is um, they are actually ruled by fear. Well, that's not cool. That said, I've done it a few times. Oh. Get out of my way. I don't have time to deal with hopefuls. Okay, well, uh... No problem. Maybe we can... Got it. ...have a little contest. If you're here to use the duel, time to win for the moment. Don't be foolish. If Uthar wants to send an order like that, he can bloody well tell me himself. Okay, I'll try again. If you're here to use... I said. Don't be I said. Don't be All right. Will the log tell me? Nope. If you're here to, just go to the computer console and open up one of the cages. All right. Nope. Yeah. Mission. Why are you still here? I need your help all the way down. Oh boy, she hasn't moved in the entire episode. That's fine. I am not in solo mode. Well, that's okay. Bioware games have never been great in terms of being bug free. And a lot of the same genres of bugs have actually persisted for a long time. Okay, I went down the wrong hallway. This was an important test, and I hope you all learned from it. Give yourself 10 get Dave points every time you know I'm making a wrong turn. You have to be right, though. Alright. Hey, Jorik Star. Seems to be in a hurry. All right, also we can use Mission's computer skill instead, because it's it's what we've got. Actually, well, it's one spike worth anyway. Yeah, sure, what do we got? No files of interest found. Fifty spikes, I almost could. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, yes. how am I gonna get well, maybe we can talk to this guy, I don't know. you get to hone your killing styles. Okay. We get sent captives all the time to practice on. You only get so many before the terminal cuts you off. Some of the students are a little bloodthirsty and get carried away after all. Alright. There's no point in no opening all the cages. They'll die on the way out. Well, I guess we can't do much about that guy. Also, why is it combat music? All right. Maybe you could do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. Okay. 
I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. I have done something like this before. Threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. Mm. You can do a lot or a little, but never in the middle. It's lack of moderation, Sith. All right. Certainly. I just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. Okay. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. All right, I'm going to hit the old quick save and then a quick load to hopefully reset the music. Thank you. All right, first things first, pillage the room. Got it. Heavy plating sounds nice. Maybe we should have brought T3M4. All right, I guess we start the interrogation. Sure. Alright, put him in a catatonic state. Alright, maybe... Uh, no, she doesn't have great computer skill either. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we might have to come. Well, I am trying. Ready. Game. Yes. All right, we're gonna have to come back with someone else yet again, but opportunities for that will present themselves. Um, I think it is time to head down into the valley. Also, apparently the north end of the map is the east entrance. A little pet peeve of mine when they don't orient maps correctly, and then also don't put a north star on it. Oh my goodness, game. Huh? Uh huh. Yes? Pathing. It's a good time. You know what? We got Karth. We have his quest resolved, don't we? So I'm gonna shake up the, uh. I'm gonna shake up the party members anyway. All right, I actually only had to go out the door, so I'll just show you this part. Uh, we'll drop Karth for Candorous. Uh And I guess, yeah, mission for T3M4. We haven't used him a lot lately. Kind of tempted to bring Joe Lee, because I think he'd be... Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Just because I think he'd be an interesting person to have on a Sith homeworld. Don't you? And no, we don't have computer skills right now. It help his defense a bit. Is it increasing his dexterity by three help a little bit? Okay, yeah, there's one point of defense. Yeah, and he can't use implants. All right then. Yes. We good. Welcome to the other side of the, uh, academy. Sure, I didn't want to jump in anyway. Thank you, Jolie. Nice backflips, Candorous. I like how you can have armor that reduces, your, like, the max dexterity modifier for your defense, but yeah, he's still doing forward flips. I guess I called them back flips. 
and they were just flip flips. So I'd like to apologize to everyone. I don't show you. <laughs> See, Stasis is pretty good. Didn't feel very sporting, but eh, whatever. Oh yeah, the worst cave in the game. Die! So you can see, even with the reduced accuracy relative to our normal, fairly high modifier, um, we're just hammering through enemies pretty easily. We're really accurate. A Sith corpse. Alright, a ton of money, not really any interesting uh, student stuff. This cave actually does have some pretty interesting stuff in it. Just confirming. Okay, yeah, it does go on. It's a little dark on my monitor, so it's a little hard to see. A dire Tukata. They're nothing to worry about, by the way. Oh man, we're missing. Feeling okay, Jolie? Alright. Oh my goodness. We're like a commercial for turbo safaris or something. It's like... <laughs> So it's, they have speed dating, right? Where you like talk to a person for five minutes and then it's over, you move on to the next person and you talk to them for five minutes. It's like that, but but for hunting. Speed hunting. Hunt deer in a pit full of deer with a fully automatic, uh, I'm gonna say tank <laughs> gun. All right. Do you see it? That over there is a Tarantatic. And it's the strongest one, but... Oh, uh, maybe Jolie's going to have more luck with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, please jump. Okay. That'll show you... He doesn't seem to be attacking us quite yet, though, so I'm fine with it. This one is actually quite a bit stronger than the other one we fought. And if you come here first, as like your first planet, it can be a pretty challenging battle. Uh, we'll just keep exploring. Just out of curiosity, I want to know what our defense is right now. 28. Okay, I thought maybe Jolie buffed my defense, but it's something else. Alright, there's things in the corners here. And so the last time we fought a Tarantidic, we found out about Wulik Keldroma and I don't know, one of the people died fighting a Tarantidic. So the remains for another one, I think, are right here? Yeah, Caldroma's robes. I don't know if we're gonna be able- okay, we can use them. They don't have- oh wait, we're light side again. We crossed over. Um, so they look terrible, but statistically they are pretty good. Two more defense points, or actually three more than we had, and then plus two wisdom as well. That's pretty good. So, we'll have them on. I am kind of flirting with the idea of just finding a quick mod, because like a mod to change the appearance of these ropes would be quite easy to turn out. You just need to know what its number is in the two-dimensional array files. Um, you can look into it. KOTOR's got... I mean, the modding community isn't what it used to be now that the game's 15 years old or whatever, but 
Uh, there's still Fred Tetra's KOTOR tool can still be found. Which will, you know, help you open up the game files and really navigate them and see what's for. Alright, for some reason I thought the students were... Come on, Candrus. We're hiding up in this cave. So it's like a single path that splits into two that then splits into three. Which I, I mean... I don't know, we're still exploring it. But I always thought this is kind of a boring cave. Just because the, the paths don't even really curve. A chewed corpse. Well, they had a plasma grenade. Those ones have a bit more kick, so I like them more. Back to the entrance. Alright. Only one path left to explore. <coughs> Fascinating. Uh, Candorous? Huh? What? No, let's just try it. It's average. I think I can just pick it up. Alright, I'll put on... Oh, I gave it to Mission. Wait. I also gave those to Mission. Maybe with plus two it's close enough. All right, new plan. I protest. All right. Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. I'm just trying to loot a dead body. Please stay out of this. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Well, I didn't Speak say up. I'm not here to kill you. So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? Not in the my slightest. My name is Stallion May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Uh, okay. Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? I don't know, we're still talking. You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. Oh, it's if dead. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? Done and done. It, it's clear? We can go. Yep. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the Academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. See, I like that they're showing that there is maybe less... Just checking out. For a minute it looked like Atris. Um, I know that wouldn't make any sense, I just thought it looked like that. A recovery mine. Ooh. Just kidding. It looks like they fought to, uh, fought for their right to party. Anyway. Like, a whole bunch of Jedi were defecting to the Sith, and the game also hams up a lot, like, how difficult it really is to turn away from the dark side. But I mean, I don't know, it seemed pretty easy for them. They just sort of showed up and they're like, oh, this is a pretty messed up place. Let's leave. Well, they weren't really Sith. I don't know, man. They knew the code. They knew all about passion and victory. All right, for real this time. Transform and roll out. And actually, at this point, we're gonna rejig the party. Uh, 
Joe Lee, do you want to talk about anything? Got something on Yeah, sure. <laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? Yeah. Well, technically I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the Order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. Oh, okay. You can't fire me, I quit kind of thing. You know what I hate? Well, you know, lots of things really, but... Yeah, sure. I'm old and easily annoyed, but that's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect. No. They can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. I think they're mostly a bunch of turds. <laughs> I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes act. Yeah. No doubt you've been on the receiving end of Jedi justice at least once, eh? Well. I'm not even talking about <laughs> how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Go on. <sighs> I suppose I'm not being very clear, am I? Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortath, I think. Or was it Hortoth? I can never get it straight. We'll call him uh, Hizzity Bizzity. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortath. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into How nearsighted was it? Okay. Tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. He so had a daughter named Bastila. To use the Force, Master Hortath. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. Go on. I'm not finished yet. Now shush. I asked you. Yeah. <laughs> One day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. Ooh. The Padawan is confused, naturally, and he asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Came Padawan across as a little passive-aggressive. Asked someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. And we'll never ask. Not much. I never knew the Padawan, nor met Master Hordath himself. He was before my time. The, the point is, they're a bunch of dicks? And I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Alright, Log, what do you say about that? Alright, anything else? Nope. All right, we're gonna swap. Joe Leaf, your T3 M4. And we get to level him up as well. Most of our leveling up is done now, for the record. Yeah, this is actually a really perfect infiltrator mix. Well, that was an easy level up. The only problem is demolitions are a little lacking in them, but even, even there, not too shabby. Hmm. He's got room for two more. I think Constitution's probably our best. Maybe we could go for Accuracy with Dexterity. That'd help his defense, too. Yeah, let's go that way. And his... Oh, we can go to Heavy Plating Type 2 to 3? Yeah, there we go. And two to seven on his guns. We can definitely... Okay, he's got the droid killer. 
super accurate with the same damage. Interesting. Is it balanced? Yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that in his other hand. Yeah, it looks like there's just two types. One has plus one to 10 versus droid. One has plus one to 10. That really should be, ah, it's fine. They're both balanced. I'm putting it in his main hand. Sorry for the, for the shenanigans, everyone, but that's an important difference at that absurd damage output for a blaster anyway. What? All right, we're gonna run back. We're gonna talk to it. Um, yeah. We're gonna mess with the Mandalorian and we're gonna talk to Euthura again. Cause you know, we've done some things. No, I lied, we're doing it next time. Cause then we might also go to the valley. I'll see you there.